why now you think you very close to the river. All right, we are taking a tour to, the, to see the pyramids of Egypt. You can see it in the background. I'm your family now, and yeah. your friends will be so glad to come. <laughs> I know. Yeah, and of course, that's my tour guide there. <laughs> in front of there, say hi. <laughs> uh, oh my God, uh, that's the, the pyramid in the background. We just passed the, the Grand Museum that will be opening soon. So. Getting ready for an experience. What is what we have here at the bottom? Yeah. Like almost one meter. This it is us huge. The idea. Is. So that is that the entrance? The big one over is, there. This is, is the original entrance, entrance which okay. is made by the fairies. Okay. This is the new one that we made recently in the beginning of the 13th yes. century. And this oh. is the one that you're going to use at the so, moment so. to go inside. So, wow. From afar, this thing looks small, but when you get closer, Definitely. you find it's size. huge. Look at the size of each one. Look at. Look at the size of the people compared to the size of this thing. So all, the, here. so all this, all this thing is one person's grave, one person's tomb. Exactly. For a king, his name is the King the Cheops or the King Khufu, one of the superstars who ruled this country roughly for thirty. Three years, and it's been around 25 years to finish the pyramid. And by the way, it took 25 years to finish. Well, what? only 25 years. And when you think about 25 years, this is a very short time. When you think about no machines, <laughs> no technology, and the, wow. the weight for some of the stones inside, for each stone is roughly 80 tons, eight zero tons of a granite, and you will see that inside the pyramid. For this thing to be man-made and not collapse. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and by the way, this is. The gray pyramid inside, the house of light. Some people they expect in the pyramid inside it's hollow. No, it's not. Mm. It's solid. That's why they needed to finish only the gray pyramid. They need almost 2.3 million stones to finish only one pyramid. And here's the entrance, which is the big one over there from the north side facing the North Star. And we have a long tunnel. It goes down, then it goes up. Then this is the beginning of the Grand Gallery. Right here in the middle, in the center of the pyramid, this is the prayer chamber. Right here, this is where they're supposed to bury the king. king. This is where they're supposed to put the treasure. What do they mean with the treasure? The treasure is everything the king needs Need. in the afterlife. So the ancient Egyptian first, they did it mean treasure. This is this room, they made it like if you check the ceiling, yeah. the ceiling poly granite, and the granite came from Aswan, 900 kilometers from here, but they used to ship the granite during the time of the flood. Which means, if you look to the other side, yeah. you keep shooting. Well, now we have the city. But if you came here before we built the high dam in Aswan, yeah. every single year we used to have a flood, and the, during the time of the flood, the water made it to the buses you see right here. All of them wow. was a big ocean. And that was perfect, that was very helpful to, to help. move the stones. Exactly, from Aswan to here using the boats. Okay? So the weight for some of the stones inside this room. For each block, it's roughly 80 tons, 8, 0 tons of a granite. Man, came of I can one. see the size of each one of these things. Exactly, and you will see it actually inside. By the way, we have other tunnels and other rooms, but now it's closed. And we have many theories about the other rooms. But the theory, which is make more sense for me and my professors, that these tunnels and these rooms, it's supposed to be traps to dislead the robbers. Yeah. Just in case if the robbers... Anybody try to go... Yeah. Exactly. So they might take the wrong direction. Yeah, sure. This is the main reason why they made extra rooms and extra sure. tunnels. By the way, we saw behind each pyramid, we have the small individual pyramids for the rest of the family. So here we have the three main big pyramids, pyramids. but in the same time we have six small pyramids yeah. around the area for the rest of the family, especially for the queens and wow. for Bidu. All right, let's go in. Let's go in. And All right, we are we are ascending. The it's time to go on an expedition.
You have the ticket? Can you stop no. that? No. Here. Yeah, okay. Walking into the belly of the pyramid. My goodness, it's a lot of work. Wow, this is the resting place of the tomb. Amazing. Getting out, going out of the tomb, in the pyramid, in the belly of the pyramid. The ancient Egyptians built this masterpiece deep in the belly of the pyramid. My goodness, there's a whole lot of work to get in here. It's not an easy exercise. This is the tunnel, tunnel that I'm about to go down now. If you know me, I'm claustrophobic. This is the most I've done in my life. Crawling in through tunnels like this. But I had to do it. I had to find the courage to do it. It's not easy, man. It's crazy. Going into, going into the chamber in the pyramid is like crawling into the belly of the beast. Oh my goodness. That is exhausting. My world, if, I, if, you, if you don't have the stamina to do this, man, oh, God. Mm. This is one of the toughest things I've done in recent times, considering that I'm claustrophobic. You know, crawling into tunnels is not one thing I like to do. Yeah, I hate enclosures. I hate small spaces. But, man, look at this thing. That, that chamber is right in the middle of this beast called the pyramid. I had to do it. I didn't come all the way from Lagos to just watch from outside and go back. I had to go in. <sighs> breathe, okay, breathe. 